All right, so we got Yoshikin versus Aerolink. I believe this is uh, Custom Palutena versus Yoshi. We're probably doing a button yeah, check or half something. Half good Link, half dark Link versus Hollis. But yeah, so I was saying the, the uh, Yoshikin just moved from Arizona. He's one of the best players. Now he's probably one of Dallas's best players, so can't. And uh, he plays Yoshi. I have not seen him play. I've just actually been hearing about him as I showed up. I didn't even know he was coming or anything. I just kind of showed up and someone was just like, hey. there's a good Yoshi. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay. And yeah, then Aaron. He's like, who? Well, let me see. Yeah. No, oh, he's good. That, that's, I think, the favorite Yoshi taunt. Is that side beat? Mm -hmm. That tail chase? Oh, man. The mind games are real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder... Usually it doesn't take this long to button check, but who knows what's, what they're doing. Um, but yeah, right now I think Aerolink. If, uh, if you're if you're an uh, regular stream watcher, you already know all of what Aerolink's customs are. But he really likes to use uh, custom uh, Palutena's up B, which is the jump glide. Mm -hmm. She saw where she can kind of glide fast. instead of doing the warp. And if she has the regular neutral B, the default. He oh prefers that one. And then he has this super speed, which just goes all the way across and just hits. It's almost like Sonic Side B, exactly. But the I think they changed it to where she can't jump out of it in a certain way anymore in mm -hmm. this last patch. I'm I don't even know why. You know, hit that random custom move. And then she has this lightweight move, which is really good, where she goes into this crazy speed. She basically gets Shulk's jump Monado and speed Monado. And so if she grabs you, you're going to die. <laughs> like, if you're, you're like 70, yeah, she definitely. can just down throw and up air you to the heavens. We call it the holy hoo ha. All right, right now, match started off. Aerolink. Aerolink knows this uh, matchup, I believe. I've been playing a lot of Yoshi this last week. Mm -hmm. It's also harder for Yoshi to get how close to Palutena would. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh man, Airlink, Airlink giving him full respect, rightfully so because he did. Both players do not know what to expect from the other. This is their first time playing. Oh, that's such a good set. Yeah. Where it's like, were you up tilt up air? That's like thirty percent. That's was it up real. tilt up to up air or was it up tilt up air? It was just up tilt up air. Okay. You can you can depending on the character and all the situations, you can get like two up tilts or several up airs or yeah. whatever, but that was just one. Right now, it's about like what, thirteen percent? Oh, let's well, speak of that. It's uh right now, Aerolink's going for the sneaky sneaky up air lightweight. <laughs> Oh, that Yoshi was done. so good. He wants you can, Yoshi uh, out of here. Yeah. Maybe this Yoshi's not too nice familiar with Custom Palutena. Oh, Ooh. Good up smash. See, now Yoshi has all sorts of rage. Yoshi has a lot of random yeah. kill moves, like a lot. Like, it's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It's like forward air will kill his, up air will kill his, back air will kill his, neutral air hit, any smash. His down B. Ooh, okay. Good up here, that was really good air link, to showing off the lights. Oh, what is it, lightweight to whatever, <laughs> to the holy hoo-ha right now. And it's in the cooldown, so this should be Yoshikin's chance to trap a kill. Oh, he missed it. Now Aerolink's back to regular stats. Nice down smash. Ooh, that was so good. That custom. Yeah. I wonder, I don't think Yoshikin's using any customs. If Yoshis do use customs, they generally use that neutral B, the one that kind of spits really far. But mm -hmm. I think he's probably best default. I agree. Overall. It's like, where's like, oh, oh gosh, see, the, that's the holy hoo-ha. And there you go. The Palutena appears. God. Very nice on Airlink's part. He's doing pain. a really good strong showing. Really. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some times where it's like he'll come to the shockwave and it's like he just looks like he's struggling, but I think he's really been practicing. He really wants it. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So great job to him. I hope Yoshikin can adapt and give us uh, a good set. Maybe he, he, maybe he doesn't understand custom Palutena because Airlink is, I believe, the best custom Palutena mm -hmm. in the world. And just, it's uh, definitely is something that you can't just run into and understand what to do. Nice Ooh, that was really good. Yeah, you know, the first hit jabbed in neutral air. Yeah. Because you know, if like if the uh, if they di'd in a certain way, he could have followed up after the neutral air. I'm actually taking notes on that for my Yoshi. <laughs> also, I very like smart. How you, it's also good for Yoshi the the jab grab. Yeah, yeah. 
toys pretty good. Oh man. This was actually a terrible stage. Oh, this just shows he doesn't know the matchup. Oh, I don't mean that in a bad way. But no, the, I, uh, I agree, because my they, friend Cub uses Yoshi a lot, and he doesn't like Battlefield for Yoshi. Well, I was just thinking, because uh, Palutena, she has this glitch with Lightweight, uh -huh. where um, for some reason, even if you're in cooldown of Lightweight or near the end of Lightweight, if you go fall through a platform and then press Lightweight again, that was a great kill on Airlink. But if you press it again, he just did it right there, where he just gets to uh, Lightweight again, just just for free. Mm -hmm. And so normally this is my stage to ban against Airlink every time because uh, he can always just indefinitely have Lightweight if it, if it came to it. See he, that he did it right there. Where it's just he cancels falling through the platform with Lightweight so he can just always have it. Yoshi's doing pretty good, but I also feel like if he shield grabs a lot more, he'd be seen a lot of Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that would have been really good on Air Links, but that was a great reaction on Yoshikin. That was really good up air, actually. Showing that he's seen that uh, roll behind the ledge setup. Oh, oh ooh, jab to up smash. Yoshi said, I'm still in it. Yeah. Still in it. For real, yeah, Yoshi can rack up damage. Like, when Yoshi gets rolling, man, yeah. it, can, it can be like a nightmare. And I'm not going to say he's just like Lucario, but he's similar to Lucario when he has that rage because he's, if he just get, if he just gets a couple more smash attacks or powerful hits, you're just done. Yeah. Oh, we all man. know about Lucario's rage. Okay. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> we all, we all have. Every last person has a Lucario or a story. There's actually a video of me versus Paul Lucario called Denti versus the Aura on the internet. Uh -huh. It's t it's the worst thing you'll ever see. It's, uh, oh my god. Just look it up if you're interested, but I get bodied by Lucario Aura. <laughs> happens. Oh man, right now, Erling just Ooh, needs nice one grab there. in this lightweight mode. Go for the dash attack. Pecking with these neutrals. Yeah, see, he's going to go to that. Oh, maybe he was faking him out. There you go. See, he did the thing so he could just have lightweight again. He's done. If Airlink can land it. All right. That was a great job on Airlink. Let's see uh, how Yoshikin handles up in loser's bracket. And I don't know if that was winners. That's probably winners' quarters. That would make sense. Mm -hmm. So Airlink probably has to fight Oracle. Yes. That would make sense.